Hey and welcome to the production of the Norwegian Jams in Long Distance in Orienteering here in Vegas Hay. I am standing at the first TV control which all categories will have and I would like to give you an impression of how the forest looks like and what it means to run such a long distance. The next leg is everyone having except the youngest categories so I will actually show you how one can run this one but there is of course different route choices. My choice is to make it rather simple and go over the top of the hills. So my first goal is just to go up this slope and aim for the highest point. The control before this one, down there, was a rather tricky one in a tricky area. So the athletes had to really read detail the map and didn't have so much time to plan further. But now the next control will be followed by a very long route choice. So they might use this uphill to uh, read on this route choice and take a smart decision there. Now we are here on this hill with the bare rock and as I mentioned earlier there would be other route choices and one of them is to go further down in this slope and take also the next hill in the slope towards the control. The reason why I choose this rather easy one is that I prefer to have a good rhythm in the long distance and don't want to risk to make mistakes or to search and stand around. So that's the reason I take this one and as well you can, as I mentioned earlier, use the time or the easy orienteering to plan further in your course. From here I can already see the next hill which I want to hit. As you have seen, it's quite some climb up here. And this might be an argument why to take the other route choice, going around this hill and saving some meters of climb. Here is the highest point, And from here, it's very crucial to take, again, a really good direction down towards the control in the slope. Because if you just take a little bit the wrong angle, you might end up doing a big mistake parallel or anyway using your rhythm. Maybe you have noticed the vegetation on the ground just changed and it was getting more wet which means I was running through a little marsh. Here you can also see a hill and this is actually my attack point which means the position 
where I want to attack my attack my my control from. With having this marsh in addition, I can make sure that it's actually this hill and not one further down this ridge. So from here, I will again take a right direction towards the control and then run a little bit to the left side so I can hit the hill on the left hand side of the control and don't pass by the flag and don't see it. Here I can see the hill. And here we go. Control code number 44. And from here, as I mentioned earlier, the athletes have to take a long root choice decision so they might run out in this direction or more here. I hope you like this production. See you!